he's up 50. He's gonna keep playing. Meanwhile, over here on this sad <laughs> machine, have at it, baby. Do it good. Do it real good. We've been gambling for 14 hours. Several several hours. And, and drinking, if you can tell by my speech. Don't call me mean. I just want someone to love me. Someone to lick my wounds and kiss my aching body. We just finished up at the Venetian. Thank God. Suffice to say, we do not like playing at the Venetian. <laughs> but that's over with. And now it's on to, dare we say it, Casino Royale. Yep. And I would much rather be in there than in the Venetian. Yes. All right, so we cut our visit to Casino Royale short. I wasn't feeling safe for either one of us, so we're leaving and going to Paris now, back to the Caesars properties. So, safety tip from Chris. <laughs> if you feel even a little weird about a situation, just get out of it as yeah. quickly as possible. Don't second guess yourself. It's better safe than sorry. We only played the $40 in video poker and we lost the $40. So that's all we did at Casino Royale. I'm not gonna lie. I think we're both really tired. I think we really need like some kind of bonus or a big win to keep us going. But anyway, at Harrah's, we have decided to try Quick Hit Platinum. We haven't played Quick Hit yet, so $1.50 is the max bet, so that's what we're going to do, and both put 20s in, so wish us luck. All right, I got the free game, or er, free games? I don't know. Pick, I don't know what, I can't remember. <laughs> we haven't played this in so long. Yes, I want you to pick, babe. Yep. Nope. That'd be nice. Wild plus five. 15? All right. Nice. Good job, honey. Now we just need to win some. Seven dollars. Come on, big money. How about a gazillion quick hits? Like the platinum kind. I don't have any volume. Kind of a bummer. Up to 1320. 1870. Seven free games remaining after this. Sorry, I'll pull that back a little more so you can actually see. Come on, big money. Four spins remaining. Come on. Last spin. Hoping for a re trigger. Well, that keeps me in the game. Almost doubled my money. My money's nice. All right, we are leaving Harris now. It is just after midnight and getting ready to head into the link. We lost. I what? think we lost $23 out of our 80. Pretty sure. But so much has changed oh inside God. Harris. Like our poker machines are gone and moved to a different spot. They've gotten rid of lots of machines in there. So that was kind of a shock. But now it's on to the link and all roads lead home. I can't wait to get in bed. My feet <laughs> are killing me. We are too old for this. Let's go. <laughs> we are at the link, which I believe is our 19th spot. 19th casino of the day. And I've selected Lotus Land Triple Sparkle. And Chris is going to do Majestic Moon Triple Sparkle. But we are only going to play 60 cent uh, minimum bet. And so we don't get the Triple Sparkle activated. Don't get all the we don't get all the sparkles, but that's okay. 
I've been doing pretty well on this machine so far. Just hit like an $11.20 line hit. I've been staying in the game. I mean, you can see I was already up a little bit from the 20 I put in, so. Nice, 32.40. I love this game. I love those like wild multipliers. All right, play at the link is done. Now it's on to the Flamingo. We only lost $24, I think. Now? Something like that. Now we just want to get in bed. It is... Uh, 12.45. 12.45. A.M. A.M. It's really hard to keep things in my head. That's what she said. <laughs> Somehow. I don't know how, but... All right, guys. At Flamingo, I'm going to play Ice Diamonds. Uh, it's three credits, 25 cent denomination, so 75 cents per spin. Chris is going to play Supreme Sevens. Same thing, three credits, 25 cent denomination, 75 cent per spin. Put $20 in the machine. Wish us luck. Hey guys, it's 1.15 a.m. We just finished at the Flamingo. We didn't lose any money. We picked up 75 cents. Woohoo! Now we're going to the Cromwell and we're playing as fast as possible so that we can get home. <laughs> Chris just got a four of a kind at the Cromwell. We needed that. Gives us a little energy boost, doesn't it? Well, nothing much happened on Quick Hit for either of us, but we only lost $7.75 in out of our 80 at the Cromwell, which is pretty good. We have not had luck there in a while, so yeah. that was a surprise. <laughs> and we are off to Bally's. Yep. It is 1.48 a.m. All right, at Bally's, we are going to play the Great Inca, one of Chris's favorite slot games. You like it, too. All right, it's fine. Wish us luck. All right, guys. That's it for Bally's. We are on to Paris. Nothing really great happened on the Great Inca. No. We lost $32.75 in valleys out of our 80. Not too bad. So, two more casinos to go. And then we might sleep until we go back home next week. <laughs> All right, guys, video poker at Paris did not go very well. So, we have decided to play Clinko, winning wall as our slot. I'm so excited. I've wanted to play this all day. And here's our chance. Just got four free spins on uh, Clinko, winning wall. So, two let's start it. For big prizes. Great, but hey, at least it was something. So guys, we have made it to the end. We are at the last casino, Planet Hollywood, and then we're going to bed. And it will be probably by the time we get there, at least 24 hours since we got up this morning. I'm pretty sure I have a little bit of alcohol poisoning. 
because I am not feeling very well, and yet I just keep drinking. Um, it's the only way to do it. That's the only way to do it. Win in Vegas. So we lost 52 of the $80 we tried at wherever we just were. Paris. At Paris. Clinko, man. <laughs> I love when I pick a machine that I've been wanting to play forever and I lose and Chris wins. At least one of us got something. All right, so let's go do this and go to bed. Yes, please. Okay, guys, our last slot of the evening at Planet Hollywood is going to be Spin It Grand. Wish us luck. Okay, I got free games. Let's see if we can get anything here. Only betting 50 cents. Got down to 16.35. Nothing. 70 cents. Woo. Game four of eight. Nothing. Oh, no, that's nothing. I don't know how many you need for that. Oh, oh, I'm still spinning. Well, that was a bummer. I won 75 cents. I don't know if you can tell, but there's nothing going on here at the Miracle Mile shops. Everything is closed down. It is 3.47 a.m. and we are finally on our way back to our hotel where we will sleep, hopefully, <laughs> for at least eight hours. We only lost $20 in Planet Hollywood, which was nice, but I think we are very happy to be going home. While we do recommend that you try to check out every casino on the Las Vegas Strip at least once, we do not recommend that you try to do that in one day. Well, a couple of days has passed now since our 24 casino marathon, and I think we're kind of recovered, but not really. We do not recommend that. Do not try that at home. I honestly do not know what we were thinking. It was exhausting. We're a little too old for that kind of gambling marathon at this point. I don't think we knew exactly how long it was going to take. I, I know I definitely underestimated it a little bit and it became pretty apparent after like the third casino <laughs> that it was going to take us about an hour to do each casino. That's, you know, getting to your games, playing, and then the walk to the next casino. By the time we made it to somewhere around Park MGM, we knew it was going to be a very long day. Yeah, so we definitely recommend walking the strip. Just walking the strip is absolutely doable. You can do that easily in a couple of hours in the morning. Stopping to visit every single casino and gamble, don't do it. So we are gonna put up some stats and let's start with which of us was luckiest on this day. We both played $940. Chris, however, won 69.6 of that 940 back, I only won 51.6%. And you'll see why in just a minute. Now on slots, we had the most luck at Caesars. We won back 80.96% of the amount of money we spent on slots at Caesars properties. At MGM, we only won 47.89% of our money back. And at all the other casinos, which are not part of either Caesars or MGM, we only won 33.37% of our money back. On video poker at Caesars Properties, we won 83.9% of our money back. At MGM Properties for video poker, we only won 78.9%. And at all the other properties, we won 31.25% of our money back. Totals across all 24 casinos for video poker, we won 66.17%. And on slots, only 55.29%. Now here's the reason Chris was luckier than I was. I played double-double bonus poker the entire time for video poker. He played bonus poker. 
and the difference between bonus poker and double-double bonus poker, I won only 38.25% playing double-double bonus poker. Chris won 99.4% of his money back playing bonus poker. Compiling all these stats is so interesting and helpful for our play in the future because I think definitely we will not play double double bonus poker. I think we'll both stick to bonus poker because clearly it's much more profitable for us. So totals for all of our play across 24 casinos. Caesars Properties, we lost the least. 82.47% is what we won back of the money we spent across all Caesars Properties this day. At MGM, we only won 61.68% of our money back. And all other properties, we won only 32.23% of our money back. Total across all of the properties, we spent $1,880, we won $1,139.50, and that brings our average percentage across all properties, all groups, to 60.61%. And if you're wondering which casino we won the most at, it was Excalibur. Where did we win the least? Well, that was tied between Cosmo and Casino Royale, where we walked away with nothing. And if you wanna see more on our stats across casinos over time, drop us a comment down below and maybe we'll put out a video. I have collected so much information over so many years. And if there's an interest, maybe we'll put out another video. It just kind of goes to show you, I do feel like everything was very tight. I feel like the casinos were equally tight across the board. We had some small wins, nothing huge. It was an interesting experience. Not one we'll ever have again, but we are very glad it's over. Yes. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification bell so that you know every time we release a new video. And we will see you on the next episode of The Midlife Ride. Don't call me mean, I just want someone to love me. Someone to lick my wounds and kiss my aching body. My desperation knows no termination. There.